Hello. And uh, welcome to Stalker Escape from Pripyat. Um, we are going to be doing some um, spooky stuff today. Search and rescue? No, I don't want to do that right now. Uh, they're usually good money, but I don't want to. I don't want to do that right now. We're gonna go to the Darkscape, and we're gonna go via the Dark Valley. It's pretty early in the morning. I really want to be able to beat, um, you know, like get the most out of uh, the daylight today. And uh, that might mean that we meet a couple of spookies, but that's okay. I think I just saw a loner approaching. Be careful. Oh no, are you? Someone's looking for trouble. Is there, is there lads over here that I'm not aware of? Don't really, I don't really want to deal with any of that. Okay. Heard that at the bar that a blowout is about to happen between 12 and 15. So I have six hours to get to somewhere relatively safe. Um... We can go, we can go to the meadow to get to Dark Valley. That might be better. I was going to check out, um, Darkscape. I guess we're going to the Dark Valley via Darkscape, not, not the other one. Um, this is interesting. Two cordon, two cordon. I see there's two separate, um, ways. You know what? Let's go to the meadow. I feel like the meadow might be relatively safer only because it's a shorter. It's it's a fairly small area. This is it. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go to the meadow. Uh That sounds like the helicopter. That is the helicopter. What do we got over here? We've got boars. Um, all right, we can take out a couple boars. What is that sound? A boar? All right, well, that was that could have gone better if I'm being honest. But we got some food, which is fine. I did do a quick save before we started, um, mostly because um, I'm not exactly sure how this is going to go. I'm a little bit worried that um, this whole business is going to be a little bit terrifying. Nothing useful here. By the way, I should um, give you a small inventory of, of you know what I've got going on, uh, what kind of improvements I made to myself. Oh god, why is it so radiated over here? I wonder... Okay, we're good. They're not, uh... For once, the helicopter is not harassing me, he's harassing someone else. Hoping that our lad will, like figure out to to follow us oh my god how did i miss that yo can we can we please Um, let's just, just, just take off. I'm hoping that the dude will, like, automatically spawn with me. Wait, that's not the entrance. Is this not the entrance? This is not the entrance. I have to go north. Come on, bud. We can't, we don't really have time to be messing around with this. We have about six hours before we get harassed by an emission. Is this not it? There's an invisible wall here. Apparently I have to like go to the thing. There we go. 
All right. That was uh, that was kind of terrifying, only because um, <laughs> they just like went ahead and spawned a ton of zombies like right next to me. I'm gonna try and uh, take care of my health as soon as we're in in the meadow and we're not getting harassed by zombies. Okay, that's a free stalker. It is raining. We do have uh, some safe areas in here. I have been here before in this um, package. I had to explore this zone very briefly for some stuff. My friend, may I ask you, do you have any work? No, do you have anything to trade? Not really, okay. I'm gonna do a save. A questionable save, but I mean, you know, this is as safe as it gets in the zone, really. This thing's gonna be annoying. So yes, um, I was gonna take care of my health. So let me let me do that. We're gonna patch up my legs and I'll go ahead and use a thing to make that a permanent heal. Sucks that we have to use health kits um, when, you know, after fighting boars of all things, but you know, it's fine. I am a little bit concerned about uh, what we can find in this area. I. I the only thing I saw in this area was a poltergeist. That was the most dangerous thing I saw. We could uh, definitely eat a sp use a spot. Moderately toxic. Do I not have any? I guess I have some beans. We'll eat some beans. Um, just want to make sure. I think I'm going the right way. So we've got a this is this is the facility i haven't uh, really explored it much at all but this is where i saw um a poltergeist it'd be kind of nice to explore it at some point but that's not really our goal today i want to check out the dark valley it'll be the first time i've explored the dark valley i don't know what it's like in this package um i have a pretty good i have pretty good armor now apparently we could fit more magazines so if I was to find some more of these um, 556 magazines, then um, I could have some more magazines in my loadout. Uh, so yeah, um, sorry, I was gonna do inventory at some point. I upgraded um, like my basic armor. When I say my basic armor, my actual, my, my body armor, I upgraded it to um, have a second belt option as well as a little bit of extra protection. Um, I did upgrade. I think I upgraded some of our guns a little bit more. Uh, I did also, um, I found a like suit repair kit in my stash, which I used to salvage the upgrades from our clear sky body armor. So I managed to take all that and uh, slap it onto our new body armor. Article unlocked. Look at, uh oh. What is happening? Please don't tell me those are military. That's a friend. Free stalkers. That's that's our friend. Uh, that's a flesh. Not a big deal there. I, th I think I saw something a little bit more dangerous. I don't know where the flesh went. Okay, that's a boar. Nothing too spicy yet. Oh God. Okay, nothing, nothing spicy. I just got a little bit, um, 
a little bit surprised by the flesh out there. So yeah, I've never I've never explored the Dark Valley in this package, and this should be interesting. Um, sucks that we're doing it in such horrible weather, but you know, bad weather exists. Okay, let's uh, reload. Now, there's not really much reason for me to be here, but there's a couple of stashes. That's really it. We've got a couple of stashes, and you know, I want to get um, I want to get used to this to more environments. You know, like um, I want to learn a little bit about what we can expect here, um, both the good and the bad. And maybe, you know, find some stuff, find some loot. Uh, we're basically absolutely broke. And so I would like to, you know, kill some bandits, get some, get some stuff. Is that a, that's a rock. It looked like a flesh for a moment. Something is seeing us. What is seeing us? Something is seeing us. Um, the, the rain makes it quite hard to see the anomalies. I know that's what the bolts are for. But I think I saw a bandit approaching. Be careful. Is there a baddie over here? That tree looked like something. Okay, that is a lurker. I wonder if it's heading over here. It certainly looks like it is. Okay. That, uh, that went pretty well, honestly. Something else is seeing us, however. I'm not sure what. Definitely want to scrape the parts off this thing. Let's uh, load up that other magazine. Now, this is uh, Varmageddon. I, I made some of the, the big bad um, shots. They should do quite a, quite a nice chunk of damage to mutants. So what do we got? We got lurker meat, hide, and tail. Got some really nice immersive sound effects going on right now. I don't need any water, right? I'm like very good for water. Yeah, I, I think I'm like very good for water. I don't know if our friend has really done much for us, but I'm glad to have him. You know, honestly, it's just nice to have some company. The moral support is, is good enough. A little bit worried about this bridge. I guess we can walk on the uh, edge here. Oh god, that was dumb. Let's uh, take a nice swig. Um, I just realized I have a second belt, but I'm not using it right now. Uh oh, something is seeing me. What is seeing me? Also, where is our friend? Oh, there it is. I think that's a rat. Uh, no, that's a snork. Actually, it might not be either of those things. I don't know what this is. I, I do know I'm almost out of bullets, though. So I'm gonna have to use my shotgun exclusively. What is this thing? Mutant snork. Okay, so this was a snork. Fracture has been spotted not far from here. That's a flesh. Oh, you're still alive. Ok, 
Hey, friend, you kind of surprised me there. Uh, something over there. I think it's something falling victim to an anomaly, though. Nothing useful here. That's a shame. Okay, there's another flesh over there. Well, nothing, uh, nothing too spicy so far. I do want to... I still need to find those stashes, and I still would like to do that. Um, let's have a quick look, see if I'm anywhere near... Okay, so there's one. Um, yeah, we're on the right track. There's still something over here. I think it's probably that flesh, though. There's still something over here. What are you shooting at? Oh no, are there bandits over there? Well, that's nothing. Okay, let's do a quick save. Um, yeah, right in the radiation. Oh, it's the trunk. We got some stuff. Decent. I think we got a ammunition manual, but I don't think that that's particularly useful to us. We've got we've gotten almost all of the ammunition manuals. We could use um, other manuals. Okay, so there's something going on over there. Could be a friendly. Oh, there's a there's a lab entrance over here, I think. Industrial complex. Oh. Okay, we don't we don't actually want to be here, I think. My friend's gonna get killed. Let's head north and hopefully he'll follow suit. Yeah, it looks like he's he's following me now. Which is good. Just trying to like take in all of the environments. I see our, our second stash over there. There's a lot of buildings there's a lot of stuff going on in the dark valley it's a it's definitely i mean the rain really helps this but like you know the dark valley is pretty spooky um but it's just an interesting place to, to you know explore i have a funny feeling that our um Stash is up in this tower. Well, that suits me fine. I will uh, be able to have a good... Good old look at the environment. Wouldn't mind kind of checking out one of those facilities. You know, these these buildings. I have to assume there's something in them. Uh oh Okay. Oh, we are jammed. I am running out of ammunition at a rapid rate. We might actually be... Yeah, we're actually running out of, like, the shotgun ammo as well. We've got some decent stuff here-ish. Honestly, the best stuff is, like, the flashlight and walkie-talkie. Uh... Wouldn't mind going in the facility just to like try and replenish some of our ammo. Ah, 
How? Where is my friend? I don't know how I'm alive, honestly. Yo, use it. Oh, that's my friend. Oops. Good thing I'm a terrible shot. Uh, I'm gonna uh, uh, this is my last bit of ammo I know there's someone around here, but I can hear him Nice. I can kill four more bandits. My my friend is now being very helpful. time things are going so well until i ran out of like like clean out of ammo ugh all right give me one moment okay um i need to find a safe spot and there really aren't that many Okay, reload, heal, let my dude take care of stuff for now. Save. I'm gonna save. I know I'm cheesing a little bit right now. Two shots left. Oh, and we're jammed. Okay. Nice. Uh, that wasn't me. That was 100% my friend. Okay, that was- that's it. That's all of our ammo. Oh, we still have some- we still have some ammo left in this. Okay. God, how many of you are there? Gonna have to heal. Oh god, that's an emission. My dude, shoot! Two 
two shots left. My dude, go out there and, and kill on them. Kill, kill on them. Yeah. This guy is doing a great job. Save. Oh, come on. I could have probably hit him if not for the fact that I, my screen bounces around every time I take a shot. It's uh, something that bo bugs me even if it is realistic. But I'm gonna I'm gonna do a, a cut here. Okay, my dude, do not walk me into the anomaly, please. Three shots left. We're bleeding. How many are there? Jeez, I just like walked into a freaking base, didn't I? I mean, there's going to be tons of stuff to pick up, which is going to be great. But at the same time, this is this is a lot. Nice. I have to I have to believe there's only one of them left. No, I'm still hearing someone. Oh God, please don't come in on me while I'm reloading. I must be upstairs. <sighs> okay. Well, I think we can start looting. I'm gonna, I'm gonna pick up, like do take all for now. I'm hearing nothing. So this was a uh, very much mission accomplished. Oh, oh God. Two shots left. Okay, the last that those footsteps are my friend. I'm pretty sure that was the last guy. Hopefully. I think I hear a fireplace. I, it kind of sounds like footsteps, but I think it's a fireplace. All right, um, just give me a second to collect myself for a moment. I gotta, uh, I'm seeing here. I'm, um, I'm planning on showing, um, a bunch of my friends, like how to properly play this game, uh, or at least learn how to, you know, manage some of the systems. So I might actually call, whoa, whoa, that's a lot of good stuff. Um, and of course now we're like highly over encumbered, right? Yeah. All right, um, let me see. I'll go ahead and disassemble this. I guess I could have put on my bandit patch and see if I could have like walked in here. Um, we're at 103. I can put on my, um, my uh, artifact and that should let me move. Yeah, okay, there's that. Oh my goodness, I think that's my mouse losing its mind. So what is my point? Um, I, I think I want to call the episode like pretty close to here. Not quite here. We'll do a little bit more. But um, just because I, I would like to have like uh, a lot of stuff in my inventory to kind of explain how to use um, some of the various systems to uh, to my friendos. So um, let me see. What could I possibly drop here? What is this? Nine millimeter. Oh, we got so many guns. We can definitely disassemble some of them. But that was uh that was highly successful. I'm I'm very like 
happy with how that went. There's a couple of loads and a couple of, uh, you know, dodgy moments, but um, for the most part, I, I think our, our armor is definitely um, paying for itself immediately. Uh, what are we at? 102. We should be able to move now. Okay, gonna continue to loot. I'll uh, go ahead and disassemble stuff. Got some 762. Ooh, this is 545, 39. Unfortunately, so not, not the, uh, not what we need. We need 45. It's a lot of corpses on the ground. I'm really hoping there's any ammo. Oh, I guess uh, we've already got some shotgun ammo, so that's that. That'll at least keep me alive. Okay, go through each of these. There's a couple of people on the second floor that I would uh, like to follow up on. I'm hearing something, some kind of spook. this anything nothing kind of hoping for like more to loot in this place than just the bodies um i know there's some stuff upstairs so i'll go check it check that out i think i might want to do a tutorial series of this game because i think that there are a few people that would benefit from that um, I'm still like I'm really enjoying this this uh, game. I occasionally have my gripes with it, but uh, for the most part, I think it's it's really well put together. Oh, we got some uh, actually healing items there. Go ahead and disassemble this. I have enough stuff that I can at least like go through all of the systems, and our guns like I I I'll, you know want to show them like how to maintain their their guns, what to prioritize picking up. That's the kind of stuff I, I guess I would like to cover in a, in a series. Um, I'm thinking I might want to, well, let's see what's a, a big gun here we could get rid of. We can get rid of this LR. I, I am tempted to try and make use of some of these. This is what, 556, 45, so the same kind of, the same ammo type. Let's get rid of this AN-94. Anything, anything that's like almost four kilograms, we can stand to get rid of. Oh, we got an ADAR. Um, I'll actually try and keep that because it's a great example of like what to keep and how to replace parts. Um, all right, I'm going to go ahead and disassemble some of our like less important stuff. Thought I would quit smoking. You'd think even in the zone, even in the zone, you are, you know, victim to your your own uh, addictions. Hope everyone has accommodations because there's a blowout that will be here very soon. Be careful out there. Yeah, um, we're we're like an hour away from the aforementioned um, storm. I want to drop some of these mutant parts, but, uh... It seems to me that the, the game does prioritize putting ammo that I use up at the top, which I do really appreciate. That's just a nice little touch. Um, I've put the empty magazine in there because I want to actually 
like put as much ammo in our gun as we can let's drop a couple of this stuff that we don't need actually like i say um do i need boar legs it's only one kilogram the like the um the food and mutant parts seem like they take up a lot of inventory space because they're they're like icons are very big um but generally speaking they don't actually take up that much ammo or uh, space or room like they, they don't they're not very uh, heavy 76225 we got here nine millimeter nothing too nothing too interesting if only all of this stuff was like 545 so what is this ammunition guide what is it? handguns for self-defense this teaches us how to make nine millimeter i don't know if i need that but i also don't know if i have that so um not a terrible thing to have if only i used nine millimeter because um these bison barrels tend to come with a lot of it so let's go ahead and disassemble this taws It also, um, something I haven't really made use of that would, like, probably cut down a lot of time on how much, like, how much time I, I spend, um, trying to figure out which ammo I need is you can set the, set the ammo you're never going to use to being trash. Like, so for instance, this, uh, I don't know, 45, I'm never going to use this, mark it as junk, right? This, um, this 545.39 down here, I set this as junk a long time ago and it wasn't this is like you know several times ago where i've picked up and disassembled and gotten rid of you know like it's um it's not the same ammo i marked as junk so it actually helps a lot if you um figure out which which ammo you need right away um the game does like make it pretty easy to figure out which ammo you're using because it seems to kind of just like shuffle it to the top of the screen which i like i say i really appreciate that but at the same time you can make things easy on yourself and i uh, like i also said um a little while ago uh i think it's better to like accumulate a big stockpile of ammo that you're gonna batch disassemble before you disassemble because then you can um then then it doesn't take you like forever to to get through all of that this is more stuff this is a carboner carabiner i don't know carabiner i always say it it's stupid okay i'm gonna be a bit more picky choosy now i don't actually need either of those um i wish that this was useful it, it gives me a little bit of money but it's also half um half a uh, kilogram But this isn't bad i i have to figure out at some point the uh, one thing i i'm a little bit hazy on is how to use textiles and cloths and stuff like that um like to you know i, I think if you use sewing kits you can actually patch cloths together and improve their quality and then you can like improve your or the condition of your um uniform or your suit basically for free um is what I understand like you don't have to pay for any kit you don't even have to make a kit soldier is lurking around this is like the last thing uh, last body I can loot here nothing too exciting I'll take the ammo you can pick up stuff while uh, you unload I don't really want to like pick up the um the drums so out of all of that we didn't really get a lot of um usable ammo i did say that the 545 was usable like it's it's you know more commonplace I'm gonna go ahead and save just to make sure I don't have to do all of that over again. Honestly, this is a nice enough place to hang out um, while the storm 
when the storm comes although it, we're at 9 uh, 9 30 so there's still like another couple of half hour couple of hours to go what's that that looks like something usable some meds something anything in here You know, I, I, I talk all, I, I, every time I've mentioned the bandits, I do so in like some kind of disdain and, you know, distaste. Like I don't, I don't like bandits, but I do fully admit the, the hypocrisy in that because, you know, when I go and kill bandits and loot their stuff, how am I very different at all? How is a stalker really that different from a bandit? I don't think they are like, you know, this, the difference is that the stalker calls himself a stalker. That's really it. You know, the stalker is like, well, I'm not a bandit. I'm not looking to uh, go and kill bandits. I'll just kill them if I happen to come across them. How is that really any different, right? You're just, uh, you're kind of fooling yourself. You're trying to make yourself into anything but the same, you know, the same level of malice that a bandit has. And I mean, honestly, when you when you really think about it, um, I wouldn't say that bandits have much malice. For stalkers, they just see them as, you know, they, they look at them uh, opportunistically. I'm sure that some bandits do, you know, like, oh... I'll go and pick up pick up my some some good stuff off of a shitty stalker whatever but also it just like at, at some point i think that a stalker is just lying them to themselves i know there's not really much point in any of that analyzing Analyzing the m motives of a bandit versus a stalker seems kind of pointless, but I don't know. I like to think about these things sometimes. Only sometimes. Not all of the time. Because <laughs> if you think about any the motives in, in any game for too long, then uh, I think at a certain point you realize that you you are in fact the bad guy. So did I get that second stash? Yeah, I did. We picked up both stashes. So there is another stash and also a, another quest in the truck cemetery somewhere. Um, but I'm pretty content with what we've done here. Uh, we checked out the uh, Dark Valley. We did some we, we did some stuff here. We could go to um, there's a good uh, line of sight to the garbage here. We could go get that other stash and then um, I can, you know, I can get to my train hanger and dump some stuff off um probably some food and then fast travel to the farm so why don't we do that and that way i don't lose any of my stuff and i have plenty of things to explain uh and tutorialize for my friendos sounds good i do want to drop a couple of things because right now i am moving very slowly I know I can dismantle some of that stuff, but I really don't want to bother with it so much. Drop that. Okay. Um, I could spend a quite a bit of time and dismantle, uh, like unload a lot of this ammo and stuff like that, but I don't really want to do that right now. So it might be that I, I honestly want to like break the episode here because i'm going to be stopping a lot while i walk back to you know moderate some mildly toxic let's let's eat some mildly toxic food yummy okay we're gonna go west oh that's right that's the reason I even, like, attacked the space in the first place is because it was very close to my stash. Kind of forgot about that. 
we are only two hours away from that emission. So I should um, plan my route accordingly. I want to go west. Oh, there's something interesting here. Oh. No, it's just uh, this bridge thing. You know, I don't think I want to go down there, to be honest. Ooh. ooh. I'll do a quick save here on the off chance I get stuck without a roof over my head when the emission hits. Yeah, this is really going to suck. I think what I'd like to do, actually, I'm going to drink one of my energy drinks. I think that'll give me some extra endurance so I don't have to keep stopping. That, that works quite well, actually. All right, do another save. I love the, uh, storm. I mean, I keep saying it, but it keeps being true is I, wait, we're, yeah, we're going west. Um, I really love the, the kind of environments and vibes of this game. So I'm glad I didn't go in there because it seems to me like there's some horrifying anomaly in there that's would make it make life miserable. What a creepy place. Yeah, you said it, honestly. Sorry about the blurry vision. Um, that's because I'm toxified right now. What is that? Is that just like rain? Because it looks so strange right now. That looks like a beacon of rain. Very odd. Okay. Let's take a moment. Pull out our map. Yeah, we're headed in more or less the same direction. This guy really uh, came, uh, came in the clutch. He really saved our butt back there. Occasionally, um, kind of stood around, but for the most part, actually sought out um, some bad guys and, and killed them for us. So, I feel, I feel I'm very grateful I managed to find him before we, we took this place on. You know, occasionally, um, some of those like environmental sounds and I, I some of them a lot of them are environmental sounds not like creatures or anything like that but like just baked in sound effects and we got him flesh uh wonder if i could get away with carrying one last thing here <laughs> um some of those sound effects really remind me of like Minecraft's weird environmental sound effects. Oh, God, we got another flesh. I like how these creatures kind of vary in size and shape. Oh no, that actually that that little tiny bit of extra weight is uh, gonna hold us back. I don't know what to drop, honestly. We could drop a couple magazines. Except the magazines actually don't weigh all that much. Let's drop this thing. And this thing. Okay. Yeah, I like how the, uh, the diff- like, the mutants vary in size and shape, uh, in their perspective, like, 
species like not all flesh look the same not all boars look okay you know what boars look all the same boars look all exactly the same but that's okay what what is that sound effect oh ow Oh god. Oh god. Oh, wow. That is a lot of dogs and there's some side dogs in there too. That is a lot of dogs. Okay. Maybe we can kind of skulk. Dude, you can absolutely go for it. I'm I'm good, I think. I'm gonna save real quick. Sounds like those bandits are getting what's coming to them. Sniper fire in the garbage. East of the Rostock checkpoint. Can anyone see what's happening? My dude, you're gonna you're gonna draw them right to me. Well, that's one of the biggest ones taken down sometimes stealth mm. works more food i can't help myself i'm sorry i'm a i'm a hoarder you know like it's uh it's a problem i gotta i, I just gotta pick up literally everything um, I don't even know what to drop at this point. I'm very close to, uh, what's his face? The mutant dude. Trying to figure out what I could possibly drop. I don't think I can drop anything, if I'm being honest. Like, I got a lot of food I could probably drop. Lurker meat. Oh, the pseudo dog fur is very heavy. Oh, and the lurker hide too. But it's good stuff. Actually, you know what? I just noticed that this lends a little bit of extra weight carried. Yeah, why don't we take off this and put this on? And that'll give us a tiny bit more space. Hey, now we're thinking with beans. <laughs> now we're thinking with beans. Uh, thinking about them beans. Now, the problem is, uh, I saw some bandits died, right? Sure would like to check out what they had. <laughs> Truly, I do not know when to stop. The answer is never. Yeah, there's another one. I knew there was more. Uh, I mean, I'll take the patches. At the very least, always take the patches because they're like, they're the best um, value per dollar per, per pound. You can always find someone who will take your patches. In the zone, they need your stinking patches. It's true. Let's avoid the military checkpoints. I don't want to commit suicide today. Oh boy. I just love to read what's in the bottom left corner. Always. Alright, things are going very well. Things went very well. 
Um, might need to drink another energy drink. Uh, just to get me to where I'm going. Where are we going? Was there... Is there... There's a stash here, isn't there? Oh god, there is. Yeah, north of me. Do I really want to get that now? This is... Like, it's really close, and I could do it, but, like, it's just such a pain. Alright, why not? Let's, uh, let's do another energy drink. I heard a, a monster of some kind. I don't know why our vision is blurry right now. Oh, it's because we're still toxified. Um, we could take some of this. Moderately effective at reducing toxicity. I don't want to waste anything good. Moderately, moderately. Okay, we'll take uh, we'll take some one of these. I've got plenty of food. Uh, there just had to be something over here, huh? Gotta pull out my artifact finder every once in a while just to see if there's like anything. One day, this thing will be worth it. And I'll also figure out how to do artifact transmogrification or whatever it is. I know there's, uh, I know it, you can do something fun with artifacts, but I don't know how it works just yet. I'm going to have to look that up still. So what's the deal here? The stash is like right on top of that artifact or uh, anomaly. You know what? Rare moment. I actually am going to pull out my... Yeah, there's a... Anomaly, like, right here. I'm not sure what to, to do here, because uh, it looks like the stash is, like, right on that tree. I just wanted to see if I could even, like, find it. Hmm. Usually the map is very accurate when it comes to where the stash is. I have found that to be the case. We're in deep shit here. Uh, boy, the bloodsucker ambushed us in the Great Swamp, south of the road to Agriprom. I think this is just really bad luck. Um, the, as I mentioned before, the anomalies are dynamic. Uh, that looked like, was that a shadow or was that a bloodsucker? I think that was just a shadow. The anomalies are, are dynamic. I'm pretty sure, um, we just got unlucky and an artifact spawned like right on top of our stash. Didn't know that was possible, but apparently it is. Oh, wait a minute. Unless this is it right here. But there's nothing in here, so I assume that's not it. Okay. Uh, I'll come back to this. I don't really want to deal. This isn't really... Like, I guess I did come this way to get the stash. Um, but I don't really want to have to deal... Like, I, I don't think I... I don't think it's possible to get it, honestly, right now. Mildly toxic. We'll eat some more mildly toxic food. Yummy. Would kind of like it if our, um, 
Is, does this give radi radiatus? Resistance, rupture, weight. There's something you can do with this stuff too. I have to look into like maybe some crafting guides. Because I know that there's, uh, you know, you can, you can, I, maybe this stuff just like helps you um, buff your, your main armor, but there's something you can do with them. I'm not sure what. This will be one of those moments where like, you know, if you know, uh, let me know in the, you know, in the comments. I do appreciate the information. I always appreciate knowing things and, and trying to figure things out. Um, there's not too many more mysteries to solve. I mean, like, the biggest stuff was like, how do I get food? How do I get water? You know, basic stuff like that. Um, and those, uh, I've more or less solved those mysteries. And things are in a good place right now. Wonder if one of these lads would like to join me. Is there anything work? Any work? No. Got anything to sell? Oh, these are these guys are duty. That means they'll buy some stuff from me, which is great. Um, it's, I don't want to sell my mutant parts because uh, undoubtedly I can sell them for more to a mutant dude. But this guy will buy my magazines for a nice chunk. Of money. What about uh, what about you, dude? We could uh, help gather through the zone. Sure, sounds like a great idea. Lead the way, yo. We got some more friends. All right, cool. More friends. That is awesome. What about you, dude? Is there any work you want done? Multi fuel stove. Have anything else? Nope. Uh, free stalkers, you have money, which is great. I could sure use some money. Actually, yeah, he wants a multi-fuel stove. I don't really have that. I don't think there's anything I can offer you. I can give you that stuff. You don't, you don't really, won't give me a lot for that, but that's fine. Um, okay, let me just have a quick look at our store up here. There's something they collect over there, I wonder. What do you got? Oh, you have a scope that I can put on my ADAR. Currently, I am using a... I don't know what I'm using. I think this is the scope I'm using. It looks exactly the same. So, this would be a... What? First focal plane scope, reliable and accurate with ammunition of any power. 824 scope versus a 2442 scope. I'm not sure what this means, if I'm being honest. But I do know I can't afford this. Oh, you have a suppressor. Oh, a silencer, actually. That I can use on my ADAR. Aw, oh, man. I really wish I could afford, like, any of that. Um, and you'll buy my mutant parts. Maybe, uh, there's no way I'm gonna be able to make up the money for this stuff. Even if I sold all my magazines, I would not even be close. Ah, uh, that sucks. Weapon body upgrade kit. I don't think I need any more of these. I should stop collecting them. They're three kilograms each. And I think I've already upgraded both of my main weapons as much as I can, at least the body part. Uh, it really sucks seeing both a scope and a silencer. You know, um, one thing I should we should note here is I do have enough to buy the silencer. I don't have enough to buy this um, scope, but that's okay. So let's... Let's let's buy the silencer. I would be I would kind of like to try that out. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, sell this basic part. So let's throw that on our gun. A little little bit of an of an improvement and upgrade for for us. 
Yo, let's have a look at it. Nice. Awesome. So I don't know if that'll really help us, but it may, there may be a, uh, come a moment where it helps us shoot someone um, a couple of extra times without them knowing where we are, which would be ideal. So next stop, I'm going to go to the, f the mutant dude, but I think I'm going to kill the episode here. There's not really much else you need to see. A lot of what I'm going to be doing is inventory management. Um, I'll dump off a little bit of uh, my extra food at the mutants, um, the mutant dude's like warehouse just to, you know, make up some space. And then I'm going to head to the farm and do a bunch of inventory management. I'm not sure what we're going to do next, but I actually think that, you know, based on the fact that we have two dudes now and um, we did very well at Dark Valley, I might honestly head to the m swamp and try and kill that night terror again two extra dudes might help a lot with that um and you know the body armor and if that goes like badly then i think we'll just ha head to strawlock i forget what it's called i always forget the name of the place but basically we'll head to the next story mission and the bar um rostock that's right Wanted to resupply at Rostock. Barkeep probably knows something about it. Pay him a visit. We also have a stash here. There's also a stash in wherever this place is, but I have no idea what this is. Dead City. Oh, that sounds wonderful. Love, love to, to go to Dead City. Anyway, uh, if you are still enjoying this series, definitely hit that like button and consider subscribing for more content like this. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. Have a good one.